So I wanted to share this Mongolian folktale today, and it's called The Khan's Daughter, a Mongolian folktale, and it is retold by Lauren Jiep, who is an, off, an Asian author that I haven't read enough of, so I'm like trying to seek out more of his books. And um, what is so interesting about this book is that it's kind of your classic uh, folktale where the prince has to win, the, where, not the prince, but the suitor has to win the princess by uh, completing three impossible tasks. But what I really love about this book is that this story is actually written and published um, in 1868. Um, so that, because this is, you know, a, you know, an ancient folk tale. And then it's retold and published in 1997. So it's, this is by no means a new story. But what is so great about this book is it's a, what I would call like sort of a modern princess story where the princess is a strong, um, capable character. Um, instead of a helpless princess waiting to be rescued, she is in fact the exact opposite. And so I thought like, wow, not surprising though that it's, that, that the Mongolian version of this folktale um, takes on a strong girl character because um, like in the time of Genghis Khan, um, one of the reasons why his armies were so successful uh, was because it was um, a meritocracy um, and not based on birthright. And so um, I'm not surprised that, you know, long ago that women maybe had um, more of a place of respect than uh, relative to other Asian countries at the same time. And so this is, you know, a beautiful picture book. And it starts off, it's a you know, poor peasant, and um, his father kind of has this, um, you know, um, almost, not a dream, but almost like a prognostication that he would become rich someday and marry the Khan's daughter, the Khan being, you know, the, like the emperor, what you would call the emperor. Of. And, um, and so he kind of sets off and goes to the Khan and... Um, you know, narrowly avoids being killed because it's, it's just so ridiculous. Like he's a peasant and he would marry the daughter, the princess. And here she is. So, um, and so the first task is he has to go and, you know, where there are seven demons and take all their treasure. And just through just sheer happenstance, he manages to do that. It's not because of bravery or anything like that. Um, or extreme good, extreme fighting skills. It's just, uh, you know, kind of sheer luck. And then the, the, the Mongols are about to be attacked. And so he goes back and what's my second task? And it is to defeat this army with, you know, a very small, you know, sort of uh, cohort of men. And they, um, they look at this army that they're supposed to defeat, which is, you know, thousands of men and you know, his men flee, and, and this, this peasant guy was like, okay, he's just going to charge. And then through happenstance again, he gets tangled in a tree, and so it looks like a tree monster is approaching, and so the enemy thinks it's like some kind of crazy, you know, um, monster, and they flee, and so he completes a second task. And so he, it looks like it's, you know, it's going pretty well for him, um, and he actually met um, the praises and the f fulfilled the the, um, the requirements from the Khan, from the father. But then um, there's just one more task, and I think it's actually by the daughter, so the person he's going to marry. And so he has to go and fight this time. And you know he's a he's more like a sheep herder. He's not really like a trained fighter. And so he knows, like, oh, my God, this masked um, warrior is, um, you know, basically going to defeat me. And so he, you know, he sort of concedes defeat. And that's when he realizes, okay, this is a, a spoiler alert, but actually the, this, like, sort of uh, fearsome warrior who is just sort of also just an ace archer. She's, you know, she, uh, she, this, this warrior is you know, a uh, horseback rider, archer, um, and fights with a sword. She's, uh, and it turns out to be the daughter. So that's, I, I just love that, this ending. Um, and then he agrees, like, okay, we're going to keep this a secret because the daughter's like, I don't want my mom to know because my mom 
was not so keen on you in the first place and that, you know, basically as long as, you know, we're in agreement to keep this a secret, who I am, and also that obviously I wear the pants in the family. And so he is only too happy to agree to these conditions. Um, and they get married and they have a long and happy marriage. So, um, so in conclusion, my, my last fun fact is um, descendants of Genghis Khan, um, I looked up, there are 16 million men in the world today who are genetically related to Genghis Khan and that makes up one in every 200 men in the entire world, not just in Mongolia or in China, but one in 200 men are directly related to Genghis Khan. So anyway, I hope that makes this book um, more broadly appealing besides the great strong girl character and sort of, you know, in, in a way it's a, you know, it's a, um, what do they call those uh, fairy tales that are, um, fractured a fractured fairy tale it's sort of like uh, you know a surprising fractured fairy tale that you know is actually a fairy tale but they fractured it themselves a long time ago with this strong girl character so i hope you enjoy it and the beautiful artwork and enjoy learning more about the mongols thank you